Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi and I am back with another video. How you doing? I hope you're doing great. <laughs> uh, so this one is the Great British uh, Pub Culture and uh, explain. They're going to explain it. So uh, let's get straight to the video. One of the great things about England is pubs. My whole pubs. love of That's journalism cool. and debating like came one. from nice. just observing people in the pub. The Great British pub has been the backdrop for debate, conflict, and even love. A place open for all, from geezers to hipsters to ladies' nights out. We all mixed together as one, and that's how it should be. It is the backbone of British culture. Go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. So today we're going to explore this fascinating culture. We're going to go through its history, its controversies, and whether it's going to survive in the future. This is oh, the story of the Great British pub. Do the, do the youngsters nowadays even go to pubs? Comment below if you still go to pubs. I want to know. I'm curious. I want to stand with you on the, the British have a famous reserve when it comes to being sociable. Oh, and everything about the pub is micro-engineered. I was thinking that too. A lot of people are not so social like they used to. So I don't know if it's going to... If it's, if it's this, I don't know how it is now. To break down those about social people. barriers and to enable people to talk to each other. Pub is short for public house. With its origins dating as far back as 43. To be honest, I didn't even know it. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. The AD to 410 AD. And it came from the Romans as they occupied Britain. However, pubs as we know them today would really become popular in the Victorian era. There were communal meeting points that typically the working class could go to and enjoy themselves. Pubs fall into a few different categories and they have changed a lot over the years, but let's start with three basic ones. Ooh. Firstly, you have the traditional pub. These are often housed in like historic British buildings. Typically, there'll be laws and regulations over how you can change the building's exterior as a way to preserve the culture. So this means there's very low ceilings and very low doorways because mm. apparently people were smaller back then. A lot of the interior is made out of wood. There's wooden beams everywhere. There's usually an open fireplace and it's designed to feel like a nice homely cozy living room when it comes to drinks they'll serve a range of beers ales ciders and they might even offer traditional pub food which we would call pub grub now let's move on to the next pub and that is the country pub and every country village i've never been to a pub but pub is like isn't pub like a what's the difference between a pub and a, a bar isn't it like almost the same but he said pub is like a public housing. Like so is the so pub is like a place where it's the same thing, you eat food, you eat a uh, drink, um, you socialize. It's like a home, like a place you call home, like your second home. You meet with your friends there, you know, you meet new friends there, and y'all just become, you know, like a family type of thing. But isn't a so a bar probably totally different. I don't think a bar is the same. Hmm. So I never been to either, so I would it really know? <laughs> Needs a country pub. Now, as the name suggests, a country pub is far out in the sticks, way away from what they would refer to as city folk. Why this is different from a traditional pub is that traditional pubs can exist in very urban areas. The atmosphere of a traditional pub relies on its surrounding area. It might be a bit more fun, a bit more lively, and there might be, God forbid, young people in there whereas the country pub <laughs> is quite the opposite the country pub is more quiet more cozy more chill yeah it should be like that more cozy you know relaxing a place that's safe you can hang with your friends you know no trouble you know i, I can't i can't stand troublemakers oh my god it's so annoying it caters to the locals everybody. who will look at outsiders with a a little bit of scorn. The locals have typically lived in that town for generations and mm. generations. And then we got their children's children and their grandchildren. Wow. And they still recognize you, still know you. Good night, Miss Pate. Good night, son. Good night, John. Good night, Teddy. And then lastly, we. That's how you know your family. Everybody knows each other. Brewery taps. A brewery tap is a pub that's attached to a brewery. They brew a beer on site and they sell it there. And these pubs tend to look a bit more industrial and are more used as a marketing tool for that beer. But for now, let's get a feel of what it's like to step foot into a traditional pub. All right, so picture this. 
It's a Wednesday, you finished work, it was a bit stressful. And so what do you do? You of course venture down to the pub. Which pub? Of course, you don't want to go home to the wife. <laughs> or the kids. <laughs> you go to the pub. What will it be today? Will it be the famous cock? The red lion? The horses? mouth and so you approach the front door of the Horses. pub and you you push open the door to be greeted by another door for some reason there's always these two doors instantly you hear mickey and the boys sat in their usual spot shouting about some political thing that they read in the sun listen here boys you know what i'd do if i was in charge if i was prime minister yeah what's that there mickey i'd get a whole lot of them take them outside and i'd shoot them yeah that's about right mickey in the corner of mickey's eye he sees you as you walk in the whole table's attention turns here comes trouble you exchange nice ease for a couple of seconds and then Mickey, he'll escort you to the bar to go get a drink. These particular gentlemen are who you would refer to as the geezers. These are working class lads. They could be anywhere from the age of like 25 to 55 really. Might be a plumber, a sparky, a carpet fitter. You know, proper man's jobs. They're not going to be in the HR department working in diversity and inclusion. Now what's very interesting about the geezer is that the geezer exists within all British men. No matter how middle class you are, whether you shop at M&S or Waitrose, the infectious charisma and energy of the geezer will undoubtedly rub off on you at some point in the night. Usually around sort of beer six, maybe seven. You'll leave your table, you head to the toilet, you might wobble there because you're getting a a little bit intoxicated and as you go for a piss the door will bang wide open mickey walks right in stares next year and he turns to you and he says you watched the game last night mate to which you'll panic <laughs> because last night you're at yoga and you need to now come up with a cover story do that make you feel uncomfortable or it doesn't bother you at all like if you're about to you you're peeing someone's having a, a conversation with you <laughs> how's the game did you watch the game last night <laughs> so you will reply, nah, not me, mate. Mrs. was having none of it. You know it is, mate. <laughs> but this brings us on to our next pub goer, Middle Class uh, Michael. Now, Middle Class Michael, he probably works in IT or marketing or something like that, an office job. He's come from work, so he's wearing his nice smart shirt, but he's, you know, he's undone a button, he's letting loose. He'll be somewhere in his late 20s to 30s. He probably lives in central London or some kind of city. But Michael, too, is welcome into the pub. In fact, all of his friends are welcome to come in and speak at an appropriate volume until about his fifth copy where he starts to find this feeling, this foreign feeling, which is called self-confidence. And he'll start speaking louder and louder until they're throwing up in the toilet. Next up, you have the old boys, aka the locals. These are men from the age of 60 to about really any oh, day prior to their death. They're drinking proper drinks, you know, they're drinking stout Guinness. They all, of course, dress like farmers. They love Jeremy Clarkson. They hate young people these are the main demographic of any good country pub and we're here in clarity be because young people be spoiling everything <laughs> they probably come the old loud drunk don't know how to act and they just make the whole atmosphere just feel some type of way <laughs> because we've been invited by a very special character i hear he's a local legend Sam, how are you oh, my dear. but then you get a few little special guests such as tourists who are typically american they're wearing some bright t-shirt they've got a, a bum bag to keep all their things in. And they're saying something about how authentic this place is. It's so quaint. It's so British. And then you get families. Oh, oh, I forgot to say you have the alcoholic who sat in a corner murmuring to himself. It's a pretty sad sight. But then finally you have one other group that will sometimes show their face in a pub. And that is women. It's so much fun. <laughs> And what's interesting about the pub is that pre-World War II, to see a woman in a pub was a very rare sight. It was frowned upon. It was a cultural taboo. Do you object to me being served alongside you here, yeah. sir? I think for myself that the, the place for women is the, the saloon bar or the lounge. Why? It was kind of like that so that husbands and wives could be away from each uh, uh, Okay, so... <laughs> Damn, I don't know if I should say, I should say this. I could understand back then, you know, the men wanted to have time to, for themselves. Same thing as women. I'm, just, I'm quite sure women want to have a time for themselves too. But to ban a woman from going to a pub is kind of like, kind of messed up in a way. But I, it's, like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm on the both sides of the fence on this. It's like I get it why men feel some type of way. You know, seeing a woman in a pub, they feel some type of way. Because, you know, it's like a, it's a man thing, you know. They want to hanging with their boys and talk about boy stuff and you know it's like you can't do certain things if a woman is around you know it, it changed the atmosphere a little bit you know so i can't understand why but at the same time it's like 
there are some women who will love to go to the pub and enjoy themselves too. You know, they want to go there and have a, how would I say? I don't say beer, I say pint. Did I say it like that? I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. But uh, yeah, you know, but I, I get it on both sides. I kind of understand both sides. So yeah. Each other so that men could do men things, say naughty words. But nowadays you yeah, get what see? is called a lie. That's what I'm saying. Men, they won't be. They won't. They won't be. A, they. They won't feel comfortable saying certain things. So it's like, you know, they gotta look around. You know, they gotta make sure any women around so they could say certain things. You know, but now they can't because then they. You know, there's so many women around. So it's like, oh man. <laughs> ladies' night. Now this is the one <laughs> night that ladies have decided they're gonna go to the pub. They've spent three months over WhatsApp, organizing, arguing, falling out over this night. It's a big night for them. It could be a hen do, a birthday, and they will arrive at the pub dressed in their skin tight dresses, drinking gin and tonic, holding their purse. They're loud. They're passionate. They're dramatic. You'll have one in the corner crying her eyes out. She's staring at her phone, texting away furiously. Another being kicked out by the bouncers as she vomits over herself. It's quite a sight to see, you know, an image that I'm sure the- And it's always those type of females just spoil it for everyone. Suffragettes never imagined would happen. Progress. And so what I'm hoping that you understand is that the pub is really a place for everyone. You with all your mates and you can all you're all having a laugh and you're all doing everything it just it seems to be like the catalyst to make a good time however over the years things have changed a lot for pubs when it comes to laws it's been like this tug of war between the government and pubs for a very long time and that is for the simple fact that alcohol is a bit troublesome <laughs> in 1552 the ale house act it's not the alcohol it's the people if you don't know how to act just don't drink it like come on like you see how it was back in the days when the older people were there uh they would just sit down they would just relax and talk talk talking to money each other hi bye jack bye whoever the names i don't know but you know what i mean like you know everybody knew each other's names but people today they don't especially the young people i'm sorry to say this they just don't know how to act when they drunk it's like if you don't know how to hold your liquor, just don't drink. Oh my God, don't drink. It was passed just, just don't, where just pubs don't. would be required a license from a local authority in order to be able to sell beer. In 1830, the Beer House Act came along. New laws would pop up like a legal drinking age. Also, opening hours were pretty tight. But by 1960s, the laws were relaxed somewhat. So from here to about the 2000s, things were flourishing. Having a simple bevy with the boys had evolved. Now you could walk into a pub and there might be things like pool tables, dartboards. And it's a five point round. You go into any good pub and there will be locals who are insane at pool and darts. They'll come in with their own cases, their own sticks, their oh, own dad. table if they could. And if they get good enough, they can enter professional leagues. They can become professional athletes. I mean, take Phil Taylor, for instance, a professional darts player. Look at him, he is your typical pub goer. But look, if darts and pool isn't what you're into, there's something for everyone. You might Six be more times. into board games. Wow. So you go, you grab a board game in this box that looked like it survived World War II, or you could attend a quiz night. The town of Leicester is the birthplace of which mass murderer? But really it would be in 2007 where things would take a massive turn. Where pub culture as we knew it would be gone forever. A countrywide smoking ban went into effect in the UK on Sunday. Ban the smoking ban. When smoking ciggies oh, were banned man. in pubs, this was a major issue in Britain. Make a place for the smokers and a place for the non-smokers that's segregated off. Not herders out here like bloody prostitutes standing on this corner, which is what you feel like when you're standing here with a cigarette. I'm not joking, this was as big of a deal as Brexit, Trump, trans athletes. And this is where the government had proposed that- I was, all, I was one of those people that was against cigarettes. I hate the smell of it. I don't like to be around it. I don't like people I don't like people around me who smoke cigarettes. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the smell of people's people. I don't like smokers' breath. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But if I feel like if people wants to smoke, you should be able to smoke outside. I mean, I get it because you know back in the days people are so used to smoking inside, smoking and drinking a beer, chilling, relaxing. But now it's like they gotta go outside and smoke. Which is understandable, but 
I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people that's against smoking. We were no longer allowed to I smoke am. cigarettes inside of a pub. And there was uproar. But they should have an area for they should have like an area for them to smoke. But then again, it's gonna be so weird and awkward. It's like they would have to like yeah, I don't know. It depends on how the pub is set up though. From landlords to pub goers, where the classic atmosphere of a pub, you know, where you open the door and a plume full of smoke would come out like a dragon's lair, would now be replaced with breathable air. And we couldn't have that. And it's true, it was part of the atmosphere, but ultimately the ban passed and you had to go outside and smoke cigarettes. From this point on, traditional pub culture only really got worse and worse. With the rise of social media and home media, people didn't really need to leave the house to get entertainment. On top of this, the younger generation were, God forbid, drinking less. And there's been a constant decline in pubs throughout England since 2000. I've said this too, since, so, since uh, social media, People don't socialize with each other like they used to anymore. You know, everybody just stays home and stay on their phone or watch TV. People don't go out like they used to. I don't even know how some of these clubs are making it. I don't even know how some of these, uh, uh, what else? Like, you know, like bowling, people go out to bowl, like more outside activities. You don't see a lot of people like you used to. Yes, boys, how you doing? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. On top of this, alcohol is easier and cheaper to get a hold of from supermarkets. We, as a society, have a greater variety of things to do. You don't just have to sit in a pub, you could go get a coffee, you could go for a meal. And so as pubs become less popular and the cost of living goes up, there has been a major decline in pub culture across Britain. But look, it's not all bad news. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that light is Weatherspoons. Today I want to talk about one of the great British institutions. Weather spoons. Weather now, weather spoons, spoons isn't a traditional Whoa. pub. It's kind of this pub bar hybrid. That pub was big. It's like a Fancy. super chain that exists all across Britain, where it takes our favourite elements of traditional pubs, the way they look, the way they feel, combine that with incredibly cheap beer and food, and it attracts a more wider demographic of young people and older people. And I think at this point, it's pretty safe to say that Weatherspoons, or Spoons as we abbreviate it to, has kind of become a British institution in and of itself. It's the start of every good night out. It's the place we love to hate, but inside we all have a soft spot for it. It's still got all of the fights, all of the political debates, the owner, Tim Martin, literally did a Brexit tour around Spoons. And it's even got love. Aww. Personally, I think as a society, tradition is really important. It's what makes culture so unique and fascinating. It makes people want to come and experience that it. That is true. So next time you're at your local boozer, grab yourself a pint, take a sip and look around for a second. And appreciate everything that's gone in to the Great British Pub. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and watch this video right here. <laughs> oh man oh boy boy oh boy oh boy boy <laughs> i i kind of understand you know how pub used to be back in the days it, it was more you know it was like more home like a second home for uh, especially for men i should say it was more like a second home you know you meet with your boys you hang out you know you talk about your day your job this you know other stress that you're going through you know your wife <laughs> your kids <laughs> your boss everything you know so it's like a place for men to just you know they come from a hard day work and they just want to go somewhere to chill relax and just wind down you know and i get that you know because you know it could be it could be very stressful you come from a stressful job and you don't want to go straight home and be more stressed you gotta relax and chill before you go go home you know <laughs> but anyway comment below let me know how you feel about this video let me know if you go to pubs and how is it like, is, does it give you the same atmosphere like back in the days or things change a lot, you know? But, uh, yeah, I see you lovely people. Take care. Bye and peace. <laughs>